Okay, we're going to start with a little active warm up. We will just get our knees circling to the right, then we'll circle to the left. Just trying to lubricate our joints, get them nice and loosened up. Okay, then we're going to work our ankles. We're going to go up, we're going to go back, we're going to go out, we're going to go in, up, back, out, in. Then we'll do our hips. Circle to the right, circle to the left. Okay, we have, we'll be doing 30 second intervals with 10 second rest. We we'll use this 10 seconds to keep rotating our hips one way, rotating the other way. Now we've got 30 seconds, we're going to do an active warm up. Pretend we're jumping rope, and if you actually have a jump rope, you can do that. I try to design my workout so you use little or no equipment. You can alternate feet. You can go two feet, go side to side. We're just trying to warm up a little bit, loosening up our shoulders by jumping rope. We're getting more blood flowing through our lower extremities. And then we have five seconds. We're going to start, we have 10 seconds rest. We're going to start with the hardest part of the workout first. And we're going to do a form of burpees for 30 seconds. Here we go. And go up. Go down and up, up, go down, kick your feet out, come back up, working our shoulders, our cores, hip flexors, legs, chest. Okay, we have 10 seconds. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try to incorporate our obliques going to the side. Go out to the side, then bring your knees in. Then go back to the side, bring your knees in, and then stand up. Back to the side, knees in, then to the other side. Jump. Back. To the side, if you want to go faster, make it harder. Okay, 10 seconds rest. We're next going to run in place and drive our knees into our hands. We're just driving our knees up as high as we can. Driving our knees into our hands if we can hit them. Get the heart rate going. Work those abs, drive those knees. Keep going fast. Get that heart rate going. We burn fat. We build up ab muscles. Strengthen our legs. We got 10 seconds. We're gonna do a lateral movement. Pretend there's a box in the middle of your feet. We'll go to the side and step and step. Step, go to the side, step in the box, lift the inside leg. If you want to go faster, you go faster. Working those lateral obliques, working our legs. If you go fast or slow. Ten seconds rest. Now we're gonna get on the floor. We're gonna do a series of leg lifts. Work those abs. Bring your legs up. Hold this for thirty seconds. Put your hands underneath your butt. Okay, keep your lower back flat on the ground. Okay, that's fifteen seconds. Now we're gonna crisscross. Fifteen seconds, just crisscross. Good job. Hold those legs up. Okay, take a break. Next thing we're going to do is go up and we're going to scissor the legs. Same way. Now we're going to scissor up and down. Okay, keep your lower back flat. You shouldn't be able to stick your hand underneath of it. It should be flat to the ground. I like to stick my hands underneath my butt. 
to make sure my hips are pointed forward. And I keep my head up to help keep my abs tight. 15 seconds have gone by. Keep scissoring. You're doing good, keep it up. Okay, down. About 10 seconds, you're gonna stretch your legs. Lower back, feel free. Now we do a part, together, a part, together, part, together. Keep that lower back flat, a part, together, a part, together, a part, together. About 10 more seconds left. A part, together, a part, together, hold it. Apart, hold it apart, and together, down. Now we're gonna bring our legs up a lot higher, and then go down, and then go up. All the way down, more range of motion. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Bring those legs all the way back. All the way up, good job. All the way down, about 10 seconds left. Good job. About five seconds left. Keep working those abs. And good job. Now we're gonna work our core and our upper body. Stick your hands down, walk it out. If you want to, do a push up. If not, just walk yourself back. We'll do this for 30 seconds. If you want to make it harder, you can go faster, or you can just go slow. Walk your hands back, you can go a little faster, or you can go a little slower. You don't have to do the push up at the end, but you can go all the way up, go down, push up if you want, and then come back. Okay, next you might want something soft for your forearms. We're gonna go right here on our forearms and just go down and up. Continually go down and up. I keep going up on my right arm. Now we're about halfway through. Now we'll go up on my left arm first. I'll go up on my left arm first. Good job. Keep it up. Three seconds. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is side planks. And we're gonna do stars. So I'll do it from the side here. Be in this position. And we're gonna go up, up, up. If you wanna make it harder, you can do a push up and then go up. Do push up and then go up. Just gonna keep going up and up. I'm working with my right arm right now. Got three seconds. Okay, guess what we're gonna do now? The other side. So rotate over to the other side. It's nice to be doing this on a flat, uh, soft surface. Okay, go up. Make it harder. Get the push up. Okay, keep going. Halfway through. Good job. Throw a push up in there. If you want to make it harder, or you can continually do it with the push up. Good job. Now we're going to go in the core position, drive our right knee to our left elbow, and our left knee to our right elbow. Okay, we're going to get back in the core position. Drive your right elbow to your left knee, and your left elbow to your right knee. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Good job, bring the knee down. Work those obliques, work that ab, work those abs, work the core. 
Just keep alternating. Good job working those abs. Keep it up. I'm going to do them a little bit longer because why not, right? Now we get 10 seconds rest. So your butt. Do a twist. Hands up. You can go nice and slow. If you want to make it easier, put your feet down. If you want to make it harder, extend your legs. I'll make a little knee, bring your knees in to change it up a little bit. Good job. Keep it up. Okay, 10 seconds rest. We're going to burn those same muscles again by doing one of my favorite exercises. It's a rowing exercise. Go here to here. Bring your hands in. Bring your knees out. Do this for 30 seconds. It's like you're rowing, you're going back down. Keep your lower back curved. Let your lower back touch the ground first. Don't come let your upper back first. Okay, good job. Okay, we've got 30 seconds, let's do a couple more abs. We'll go right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee, right to left, left to right. This is bonus right here. Good job. Keep it up. If you want to make it easier, go here, go here, go here. Okay, good job. Let's get a little stretching in since you're sitting here already. Hug your right leg. We'll hold these for about 15 seconds each. Stretching out our butt right now, the gluteus maximus. That'll take some of the pressure off our back. Stretch the other leg. Good job, hug that leg. Okay, another good back stretch. Hug both legs. Hug them this way. Hug them this way. You can rock a little bit if you want. Just try and loosen up that back right now. Just do a little, little stretching. Now we're just going to hug the one leg. Keep this leg bent, or you can straighten it out. Then I'll stretch the other leg. Okay, good job. Now we're going to go into one of my favorite stretches, child's pose. Stretch it out straight. I like to sit on my heels, bring my arms forward, maybe walk my hands to the left, and then to the right. Okay, good job. Got a good little workout in there. You got sweat going. Um, hopefully, you burn some fat, you build some muscles in your abs, your chest, your shoulders, your back, your legs. It's a good little whole body workout for 10 minutes, a little warm up, a little cool down. Uh, I'm happy I did it. Hopefully you are too. Good job.